So first question is like why ENT? That uh, is just like playing a video game on screen. Uh, you see the screen, you do the stuff from here. It's like playing FIFA. So how do you think you can make a fresh student who's uh, entering third prof, who's full of energy, but there's no screen in front of me? Like if you grab the anatomy well, pathologies are not at all going to be a difficult task of uh, difficulty. In this generation, students feel that they have been overburdened. So what advice you want to give them? Like everything needs a balance. Reading is an important part of our life. We are doctors, we should know about things. But at the same time, we should have something to go home to. It's very important to keep hobbies. Don't miss out on that. And at least you should give 2 hunte for ke liye. Hello guys, welcome back to PW Media YouTube channel once again. It took two and a half years to get uh, the person who's me with me on this dais. And I think it's worth it. So two things which fascinates me about Dr. Sanchit here is one, he teaches the subject which I like a lot because I had got amazing ENT professors. The intricacies of ear, the petrous bone, everything is actually fascinating to learn and understand. Second is art of storytelling. So I always feel that when you connect more with a real life, that's what uh, Dr. Sanchez does in lectures. And uh, that is the best way to learn for me, medicine, pathology, ENT or any subject for that matter. So I have a list of questions which the team has given me to ask Sanjit, but I'm going to make it very, very informal and you're going to talk from the heart. So welcome Dr. Sanjit, first of all, to the podcast and welcome to PW Medic. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ranjit. First of all, I've been a fan of your pathology classes. Thank you. And uh, I'm so glad to be with PW Medit as an ENT faculty. And I'm really looking forward for a very exciting journey ahead. Great. So first question is like, why ENT? Okay, that's something very tricky. So uh, I actually never knew what uh, God has in store for me. I finished my MBBS, post MBBS. Uh, when I finished my internship, till then, I never knew what uh, subject I should choose, very frankly telling. But the thing was that uh, I wanted a surgical field, that was pretty sure in my head that uh, I have to go towards the surgical branch because I was fascinated with surgeons. I used to see them coming out of the OT, people running behind them. So I was like fascinated like these people, you know, uh, grab some attention, they do some work, adrenaline rush. So I knew I wanted to be a surgeon, but what I should choose, I never knew. Uh, ENT came to me as a post internship. I did a fellowship in critical care medicine. And there I got to know a person who was doing ENT surgeries parallelly. So during that time, I used to see him that uh, he is, you know, operating inside the nose and he is seeing the screen with an endoscope. Uh, he is going into a very small space, doing a very intricate surgery and suddenly the person starts to hear. Uh, I saw a small boy, he doesn't hear since birth. And suddenly, you know, after seven days of the operation, he starts to hear by implanting a device inside. So, these things fascinated me. Also, I was a great, uh, uh, you know, uh, the game player. Like, I used to play okay. video games a lot. So, the thing was that uh, what I felt that ENT has got a lot of connection with video game stuff. Okay. That uh, is just like playing a video game on screen. Uh, you see the screen, you do the stuff from here. It's like playing FIFA. <laughs> so, it's the same way the surgery is. You're seeing the screen, you're doing stuff over on the patient. So that hand-eye coordination, uh, intricate anatomy. I was really interested in head and neck, especially. And uh, that gave me a path into ENT. And post going into ENT, I further decided that I'm really interested in the oncological aspect. So I super specialize in that aspect later. So it's actually fascinating to see someone who actually compares the real life video game aspect to the uh, subject. I think most of our students will love to uh, listen that whatever they've been doing for hours, it's not wasted. They can go and tell the parents that, see, I'm playing video game, maybe to become like Dr. Sanchez in future. Uh, so uh, the things what you said, the hand eye coordination, a very small cavity, the intricate anatomy, actually these are exactly the same things which makes ENT difficult for an MBBA student. Absolutely. Because when I was an MBBA student, I don't get to see that. I don't sit in the operating microscope. I cannot maneuver to the force of Rosenmuller. I read him. I am not able to relate. So how do you think you can make a fresh student who is uh, entering third prof, who is full of energy, but there's no screen in front of me? How to make them visualize what, uh, what can you do for them to make them have the same interest like you in ENT? So it's a, a great question, uh, Dr. Anjit. Because I uh, think uh, the moment ENT me koi bhi bachcha aata hai, that is in uh, third year, and uh, unko hum OT leke jate hai. So suddenly kya hota hai? The interest jata Tops. chala jata hai, <laughs> and they keep going on the side of the OT theater, sure. aur wahan pe baith ke reel banane lagte hai. <laughs> we are there inside the OT. 
पर उनको कुछ समझ में नहीं आता एंड इवन इफ यू शो देम कि ये देखो ये इंकस दिख रही है ये मैस्ट्रॉइड है दे हैव नो ओरिएंटेशन क्योंकि प्रॉब्लम ई एन टी के साथ ये है कि ओटोलॉजी राइनोलॉजी लैरिंग सेटेनिक ऑल आर सो इंट्रिकेट एंड दे आर ऑल यू नो सीन टू द सर्जन नॉट टू द पीपल लाइक बिकॉज वी आर अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप तो सर्जन को दिख रहा होगा पर वो दूर से ही कैनॉट एक्सप्लेन कि देख के ये बताओ कि ये क्या है लाइक यू कैन ग्रॉसली इसलिए जनरल सर्जरी ऑर्थोपेटिक्स दे कैन ग्रॉसली शो यू सक्सेस बट आई थिंक ये इंडियन ऑफ थाला टू सब्जेक्ट जिसमें आप नहीं समझ पाते हो कि क्या ओरिएंटेशन है बिकॉज आप पढ़ते अनाटमी इन वन सेगमेंट हो एक डायमेंशन में ऑपरेट आप किसी और डायमेंशन में करते हो सो सपोज आप यहाँ मिडल ईयर सीधे पढ़ते हो एंड वेन यू डू द सर्जरी ऑफ मिडल ईयर यू आर लाइंग डाउन एंड यू हैव टू क्रिएट सम काइंड ऑफ अ थ्री डी विजुअलाइजेशन कि ये कहाँ पे है वो कहाँ पे है सो पीपल जनरली गो ऑफ फेडिंग अवे इन इंटरेस्ट बाई द एंड ऑफ द ईयर सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजन ऑल्सो पीपल डोंट टेक ई एन टी एज अ फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस ब्रांच क्योंकि उनको लगता है कि हमें जो अनाटमी समझ ही नहीं आती उसमें हम वो काम कर ही नहीं सकते बट द थिंग अबाउट ई एन टी द मोस्ट फैसिनेटिंग थिंग आई वुड से इज कि जैसे ही आप इस सब्जेक्ट में आते हो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टू रिवील एंड गेट एडजस्टेड टू दी अनाटमी इन एवरी डायमेंशन ऊपर से कैसा दिखता है साइड से कैसा दिखता है सामने से कैसा दिखता है सो इवन इन द लेक्चर्स आई टेक एंड जो भी थ्योरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल आई टीच आई शो देम डायग्रामेटिकली कि पहले विजुअलाइज करना सीखो एटलीस्ट रिवील द स्ट्रक्चर्स आउट कि साइड से जब हम ऑपरेट करेंगे तो कैसे होंगे सामने से स्कैन पढ़ेंगे तो कैसा होगा एंड उसके हिसाब से इफ यू गेट इंटरेस्टेड इन टू दी अनाटमी वेल इफ यू ग्रैप दी अनाटमी वेल पैथोलॉजी इज आर नॉट एट ऑल गोइंग टू बी अफिकल्ट टास्क ऑफ डिफिकल्टी बिकॉज पैथोलॉजी इज में हर चीज प्रिडिक्टेबल हो जाती है ई एन टी में सिर्फ फोर और फाइव सिम्टम ही है जिसमें Every uh, particular disease is revolving around, mm-hmm. so it becomes very easy if you know the anatomy well. True. So that is why they have to be some amount of hours dedicated. कि आप पढ़ो, don't go retrograde because that is a failure. So don't read the pathologies and then you're going back to the anatomy because you never understood about it. Maybe not to start from the PYQ of Bell's palsy. Maybe mm-hmm. understand facial Absolutely. nerve. Absolutely, because if you don't know the facial nerve course, Bell's palsy becomes a thing which you mug up. True. and yes. then next day that becomes something else so so that is something that i think we can uh, we always have a plan about jabhi bhi hum padhate hain bachcho ko sabse pehle we give a lot of time on foundations and basics ki agar unko ek baar structure samajh mein aa gaya then hardly we save a lot of time pathologies mein jab jaate hain great great sir just like uh, maybe aapke like lectures dekhenge like uh, one important aspect is storytelling you start with the monologue you start with talking you don't start with the board you don't start with the point right so how important you think and why do you do this like every lecture of yours what i've seen it starts with a monologue why to first talk and then to teach rather than teach and then talk why what's unique about that so brain is a funny organ so the thing is ki uh, whenever uh, you attend a lecture the first and foremost thing should be ki bacche ke andar ek visualization aana chahiye mm-hmm. about ek patient hai wo ek clinic mein aa raha hai and usko ye particular disease hai तो वो अंदर आते ही वो कैसा दिखेगा उसमें क्या सिम्टम दिखेंगे क्या साइंस एक डॉक्टर नोट करेगा तो सडनली सपोज एग्जांपल के तौर पे हम एक एडेनोइड हाइपरट्रॉफी पढ़ते हैं तो एडेनोइड में बहुत सारी चीजें एडेनोइड फेशीज हैं हम पढ़ते हैं ओटाइटिस मीडिया विद फ्यूजन है तो बहुत सारी चीजें बट हम लोग क्या करते हैं इनको पढ़ पढ़ के पढ़ पढ़ के रट लेते हैं एंड वी से ठीक है एडेनोइड फेशीज लुक लाइक दिस तो बट वी नेवर विजुअलाइज इट हमें कभी नहीं समझ में आता दैट एक्चुअली अगर कोई पेशेंट हमारे सामने आएगा तो वो कैसा दिखेगा वो बच्चा कैसा होगा तो अगर एक स्टोरी आपको मैं बताऊंगा तो आप हमेशा वो स्टोरी याद रखोगे नॉट द टेक्स्ट दैट आई टेल यू इट इज एज सिंपल तो अगर मैं आपको एक रिलेट करके स्टोरी बता सकता हूँ कि बच्चा आ रहा है स्कूल में अच्छा नहीं कर रहा वो बैठा द पेरेंट्स आर कंसर्न दे आर थिंकिंग इस बच्चे को अटेंशन डेफिसिट है बट एक्चुअली वो हेयर नहीं कर रहा तो दैट स्टोरी सम हाउ कम्स अप इन द स्टूडेंट्स माइंड कि हाँ ऐसा कुछ होगा सो द मोमेंट दे कम इन टू क्लिनिक्स द same story goes inside them when they see the patient true and that matches up Great. so our teacher used to teach us like that we got very fancied with that concept ki hame lagta tha ki ha theek hai ye story hame hamesha yaad rahegi voice agar wo nikal ke dikhate the ki hoarseness hai to kaisi voice aayegi to wo main zindagi bhar yaad rehta tha ki hoarseness aisi hoti hai hot potato voice aisi hoti hai so it becomes very interesting to capture the subject so uh, i hope you have done some mimicry also in the, uh, Uh, I do a lot of mimicry. <laughs> I create faces. I do a lot of voice changes. Great. Just so that the patients can understand that hmm. what is the logic behind that symptom. Amazing. 
So uh, we just di- divert a little bit to non academics of uh, you did uh, make some uh, funny voices and funny faces. Uh, I also heard that you play multiple instruments. <laughs> uh, is that true? And uh, why I'm leading to this is like in this generation, students feel that they have been overburdened. So what advice you want to give them? Like everything needs a balance. Be you might be a topper. You need a balance. You might not. You may be an average student. You still need a balance. What is the advice for every student who has entered the uh, third year, and when they go to final year, this batch is going to face like eight major subjects or nine major subjects totally put together. So, what is required for them to have a balance so that they don't get burnt out when the exam comes? At the same time, the journey also becomes very smooth. And maybe, if possible, you can do some mimicry as well. So, so the thing is that before doctors, we are human beings. True. Uh, we also need a life. It's just not about reading subjects and 19 subjects because we do what we do. We make it too important for ourselves right from the beginning of first year. We have a 19 subject per day, 19 subject per day, need PG, nikalna hai, or FMG, nikalna hai, then going into further, then super special. You know, ek, you know uh, we just catch the train and it's going to be done. And we never care about ourselves, our hobbies, our interests. And we have a lot of interests. Like, okay, reading is an important part of our life. We are doctors, we should know about things. But at the same time, we should have something to go home to. हमारे पास वी शुड स्पेंड टाइम विद आर फैमिली वी शुड हैव टाइम फॉर आर ओन सेल्फ फॉर आर ओन सेल्फ ग्रोथ बिकॉज आई हैव सीन चिल्ड्रन जो जिंदगी भर बस पढ़ते रहते हैं एंड बाय द टाइम यू आज देम कि बेटा यू नो लाइक व्हाट आर योर हॉबीज सो दे टेंड टू टेल कि नहीं सर मैं तो कुछ आई हैव नो हॉबीज या सब कभी कहते स्लीपिंग तो स्लीपिंग इज नॉट अ हॉबी सो हॉबीज आर समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू इनकल्केट राइट फ्रॉम बिगनिंग आप फर्स्ट ईयर से वो करो और कुछ बच्चे पेंटर होते हैं कुछ बच्चे डांसर्स होते हैं कुछ बच्चे सिंगर्स होते हैं सो मेरा पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट वॉज इन सिंगिंग ओके सो आई हैपन टू लर्न इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक टू लाइन्स नो प्लीज नॉट नो बट आई हैपन टू डू दैट वेन एवर आई एम यू नो इन माई ओन स्पेस आई एम टायर्ड विद द वर्क दैट आई एम डूइंग इन द होल्ड डे दैट गिव्स मी अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेजर आउट साइड वर्क बिकॉज इट टेक्स मी अवे फ्रॉम वॉट इम माई रेगुलर लाइफ इज क्रिएट so that is something you should not leave out on and agar aap apni hobby ko apne iske sath rakhte ho to mujhe lagta hai ki is particular journey mein there is a lot of importance because these hobbies give you a lot of confidence true they inculcate a, a good you know you become a good orator when you have a good hobby you become a good orator you become a good uh, you know a balanced person so it's very important to keep hobbies don't miss out on that and at least you should give 2 ghante khud ke liye perfect Amazing. So, uh, students, like uh, we have heard a little bit about uh, Dr. Sanchez's uh, journey of ENT, why ENT, and how ENT can fascinate him. I think he will be able to translate the same amount of interest, if not more, to you guys as well. Uh, so, we'll be listening more. You guys will be listening more about the lectures of ENT with Dr. Sanchez, live recorded whenever it is. And don't forget to put in the comment section what song you want. him to sing in the lecture so that he'll get prepared see you soon dr uh, sanjit like it's an uh, amazing pleasure to meet with you and uh, hopefully we'll uh, make the journey of the student not a pressure journey let's make it equally balanced and a pressurable journey to learn and excel in medicine so i always say let let's make your journey more entertaining with the ent in that okay so no it, <laughs> it will be entertaining and uh, please please don't forget to put in the comment section what song he wants to uh, sing for you guys thank you guys see you soon bye bye thank you